Welcome to All Far. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the MOM 3 drawer chest from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, a drill, a hammer, a 5 16 inch drill bit, a pencil, and something pointy to poke holes with. You can also use a Phillips bit or a posi drive bit to speed up the assembly process. Before you start the build, I would also recommend keeping all the bags separate as mixing them up will complicate things. So the first step is to grab these two panels and put them into this orientation. Make sure these two big holes are facing up and the unfinished sides are facing inwards. Also grab the left and right drawer sliders and 12 of these small screws from bag 1. Then go to the left panel and place the three left drawer sliders on like this. Now use six small screws to secure each drawer slider. Then go to the right panel and place the three right drawer sliders on like this. Now use the other six screws and secure each drawer slider in place. Next, grab 12 of these screws and screw them into these 12 spots. The end product should look something like this. Now grab four plastic scratch guards and hammer them into these four spots. Next, grab this piece of wood and put it in this orientation. Also grab two of these metal brackets and four of these screws. Then attach the two brackets to the piece of wood as shown. Now grab two scratch guards and hammer them into these two spots. Next, grab two screws and attach the structure you just put together as shown. The two screws will be going into these two holes. Also make sure the scratch guards are facing down. Then grab these three pieces of wood and put them into this orientation. Also grab six wooden dowels. The dowels will be hammered into these six holes. Now attach the three pieces of wood as shown. Next, grab three fasteners and secure them into these three holes. Then grab this piece of wood and put it in this orientation. Also grab two wooden dowels and hammer them into these two holes.
Now attach the wooden piece like this. Then grab one fastener and secure it into this hole. Next, grab these two panels and place them in this orientation. Also grab eight wooden dowels and hammer them into these eight holes. Now place both panels onto the structure like this. Then grab two fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Next, grab the left panel and place it on top, then secure everything together. Now grab two screws and screw them into these two holes. Then grab six fasteners and secure them into these six holes. Next, grab the top panel and put in this orientation. Also grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Now grab the wall hardware bag and grab yourself two brackets, two washers, and two screws. The brackets will be secured into these two spots. It's going to look something like this. So place the brackets like this and put the washer through the screw. Then secure the bracket using the screw. Just make sure that the screw doesn't go all the way in. Now flip the structure over like this. Then grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Then attach the top panel as shown. Just make sure the finished edge of the top panel is facing forwards. Now grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then place the chest against the wall and grab yourself the wall hardware bag. I've already done these next steps in a different video, so I'll put a timestamp and a link in the description of how to attach the chest to drywall properly. So after you have successfully secured the three drawer chest to drywall, you can now focus on assembling the drawers. So grab this front drawer panel and put in this orientation. Also grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes from bag two. Then grab two side panels. You can start off by grabbing the left side panel that has the warning sticker on it. Just make sure the inside of the side panels have a flatter edge and also grab four wooden dowels. Now hammer the dowels into these four holes.
then attach the side drawer panels as shown. Next, grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Now grab one small pointy screw and the middle support. Place the middle support on like this and secure it using the screw. Then grab the bottom of the drawer and slide it in like this. Now grab the back drawer panel and place it on as shown. Next, grab four plastic pins and hammer them into these four holes. Now grab one small screw and secure the other side of the middle support. If you're using a screwdriver, first grab something pointy to make a hole. If you're using a drill bit, then you don't really need to make a hole. Then grab two plastic bumpers and push them in like this. The holes for the bumpers are located on the sides of the drawer. Now flip the drawer over as shown, and also grab the corresponding DR and DL drawer sliders. Also grab yourself six of these screws. Then go to the left side of the drawer and place the drawer slider that is marked with the DL on it as shown. Secure the drawer slider using three screws. The three screws will be going to these three holes. Now go to the right of the drawer and repeat the same step with the DR drawer slider. Then repeat all the steps related to the assembly of the drawers two more times. The only difference is that now, the left drawer panels won't have any warning stickers on them. After assembling all the drawers, put the one with the warning label on the highest level like this. Then put in the other two drawers as shown. You should now check that everything opens and closes relatively smoothly, but if you follow these steps, you shouldn't have any issues. You should now have a fully assembled mom 3 drawer chest from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.